Hi, my name's Emma, and I'm a huge book nerd. You're my library, always open for business, but you never show it. You're just sitting with it, but I know the score, and you're kidding. This week has been a pretty insanely busy week, so I'm gonna do a pretty quick video today just explaining how I read books, basically. I mark up my books so that I can remember the feelings I had when I was reading them so that I can share them with other people when I'm talking about them later. So I'm just going to explain to you how I keep track of that stuff. I know some people like when they're reading have a notebook and they go through and take notes as they read, but I can't do that because I would have to like put down the book and like there's something about stepping away from the book when I'm in a moment that I'm really immersed in that just, it makes the reading experience less enjoyable for me. And as much as I love telling other people about books, I don't want to hinder my own reading experience to be able to do that. So most of my book marking comes from little book tags. And I actually just took this little tea tin. It's a Celestial Seasonings brand and I don't even know where this came from, but I just put all my little tags inside it. So basically I glued my main color tags to the top lid there, and then I have some other little sticky notes. I have this cute little, little dog sticky note with a word bubble, and I have these adorable little cat ones. So cute. I put it in this little tin, so I can literally just close it up and throw it in a bag and take it everywhere with me because it's too it's too messy to just like take a handful of tags like it's just it doesn't work for me. So this is how I organize myself and then I use different colored tags to mark different things in the book. So these orange tags are any time that I like laugh or giggle. I don't use these a whole lot because one, I read a lot of depressing books, and two, it takes a lot for me to actually laugh out loud when I'm reading a book. This is a pretty hefty stack still, I haven't used many of those. Then next, these lime green ones are plot, so like big plot points, things where I'm like, whoa, that happened. That's where these tags go. And then the pink is quotes, so any quote that I want to remember and like write down and use in a review later, I'll mark with a pink. And then I'll also underline the quotes in pencil so I know exactly when they start and stop. Then the blue, which is my favorite tag, it's when I cry. So anytime where I cry or get like choked up, I'll put a blue tag. And I've used a lot of them because like I said, I read a whole lot of sad books. And then these other tags in the bottom I'll just use when I have a thought that I really do need to write down. Like instead of using a notebook, I guess, I'll use these little tags because I can write on them because they're a little larger. So that's my little tea tin that I keep with me when I'm reading. And just to show you a little bit of how those tags actually work in a book, I have The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry, which I marked up a lot because I was totally engrossed in this book. I highly recommend you read this. I loved it. But just so you can see a little bit, I'll hold it up close here for you. So this is starting from the beginning and we've got a blue tag right from the start, which means I cried. And then we have this, we have this dog tag right from the beginning. And on this, I just wrote loving the style of the writing because I knew that was something that I wanted to talk about. And then we've just got these pink ones for quotes. This says, and it raised the question as he pushed the button at the Pelican Crossing that if she was in effect Harold, then who am I? So there's just a lot of stuff like that. Then we have a lime green one. I won't show you what the, what the lime green one represents because it's a big plot point. So yeah, but those go all the way through to the end. And as you can see, it gets really sad right about here. <laughs> But then when I'm finished reading a book, I can go back through and look at all these tags to remember the parts of the book that had a big effect on me that I want to be sure to mention when I talk about the book. You can actually see in my August wrap up when I talk about this book. So I'll link that video down below if you want to hear all of my little thoughts on my tags. So yeah, that is how I mark up books that I'm reading. And I hope that you've enjoyed this short little video. And maybe if you review books, you can take a couple of these little tips. Maybe my little tea container has inspired you to make one of your own. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and give me some of your reading tips and tricks down in the comments. And please subscribe and I'll see you all again later on. Bye!